Hi everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and I'm here today to recap the recent live stream where we dip tied some stroll fingering weight sock yarn into five different formulas of black food coloring. The yarn is still wet, but I wanted to quickly go through these before I wash them off camera and then I will come back and share the finished dried yarn. The whole reason for this project is that the Wilton's Black that I have been using for every time I've used black for the last few years is this one that had the red number 40 in it. I had been referring to this as the new formula and this one as the old formula, but this one is now discontinued. And so unfortunately, this Number one is now the old formula, and this is the new formula that you find of Wilton's Black. It's still lovely, it's still beautiful. You, both of them you get purple and they break beautifully, but the new formulation that you find in the stores has more of a green tinge to the entire skein, whereas the one that I'd been using before is more blue overall. Each of the five dye baths started off with eight cups of water and two tablespoons of white vinegar. I mixed a quarter teaspoon of each of the dyes in half a cup of water and then added this really concentrated dye mixture to the dye bath immediately before dip dyeing the 100 grams of Stroll sock yarn. And this yarn is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. First, we dip dyed the Stroll yarn into the Wilton's Black that has red number 40. This is the formula that I've been referring to as the new formula in many of my videos for years. And you can see the ingredients right here. Unfortunately, this is the discontinued one. So this is now the quote, new old colorway. Next, we use my ancient vial of Wilton's Black and this was the colorway that I used to call the old colorway. And now this is way more similar to the one that you find now. So I'm gonna call this the old, old colorway with red number three. And here are the ingredients. Third, I used the Wilton's Black icing color that you can find in stores today. This quote new colorway is very, very similar to the quote, old, old colorway that I did second, but it's a fresher vial, so the colors overall are a little more intense. And here is the formula. The ingredients are in the same order as they were in the older version, but at least in terms of the food coloring, but there are some other differences um, in the way that the other ingredients are ordered on the label. Fourth, we looked at the base black color in the Wilton Colorite Color Performance System. I used 21 drops, which was equivalent to a volume of a quarter teaspoon of this color. And here are the ingredients. Lastly, I measured out a quarter teaspoon of the McCormick's Black Food Coloring, which ended up being 19 drops. But to make it a better comparison with the Color Right Liquid Black, I decided to increase this to 21 drops total. I think of all the colors, this was the least potent, um, and it's also the most brown of all the colors um, as well. But here are the ingredients to the McCormick's Black. Overall, the, I guess, the dip dyes two through four all have a lot more yellow feel to them than the first one. The Wilton's Black, the quote, uh, I guess, new old color, I guess is what I've been calling it, um, that's discontinued is bluer and has less of a yellow feel overall. And so that is the predominant difference between all of these colorways. In the wash steps, we did see a little bit of color bleeding, but it didn't really seem to diminish the overall color. Here are the finished dried yarns, and from left to right, we have one, two, three, four, and five. Skeins one to four were all different formulas of black food coloring from Wilton, and the fifth one is the McCormick's Black, 
and it's my really old bottle of the McCormick's Black. This yarn has sort of breaks from a brown to a pale blue, and of all of the yarns that we dyed, this one is definitely the most brown. What this shows is that you know, even if you see ingredients that look really, really sim similar, the proportions and formulas that different companies use so that you can get this black food coloring can vary wildly. Clearly, I need to look at other brands of black food coloring in the future and see how they break. Skein number one is the now old, the new old Wilton's Black formula that had red number 40 in it. Um, this is the one that is discontinued and is a color that I absolutely love. So I will be very, very sad when I run out of it. Of all of the Wilton's formulations, it is the most blue at the end after it's broken. The other ones are a little bit more of a blue-green than this true blue. As for the darker color, again, this shade is more blue on this older discontinued formula. Um, this is a deep, not quite burgundy, it's more mauve, it's more blue than a burgundy, but it's still a really, really deep, rich purple. And the purples in the other colors are a bit more brown, probably because overall the yarns read a little more yellow. The Wilton Colorite Black is a bit bluer, maybe like a hair bluer than sort of the, the yellow blue that we see in two and three. But it isn't really that close to the, the, the skein in number one. Now, just because the formulas have changed, it doesn't mean I can't get something similar to this colorway. I think that if we add, try adding maybe a couple drops of the Wilton Colorite Blue, to any of the other blacks, maybe that will sh be enough to shift them a little more um, into the colorway like number one. So clearly this is going to be an experiment that I need to try in the future. I know that there are a lot of different formulas and names for the formulas in this video. So if you check the video description, I will have the ingredients in order that the food colorings appear in in the video description for each of these yarns labeled one through five so that way you can match the formula to the yarn. Sometimes I like getting a little technical. I really like doing some experiments and comparing things side by side. I think that it really helps you sort of get a vision of what you can create. No matter what black you have, whether it is the old red number 40, I guess the now old red number 40 formula on top, or the brand new that you can find again, red number three formula on the bottom, I think that you will create a stunning, stunning yarn. All of these yarns are beautiful. So whatever formula of black food coloring you use, you can break it and get stunning colors. And again, if you wanna shift the hues a little bit, try spiking your black food coloring with some green, some blue, some yellow, and you can shift the overall tone in some different directions. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. Also, did you know that I launched an Etsy store this week? The Chemnitz Creations Etsy store is now open, and it's filled with yarns that I have dyed in past and upcoming yarn dyeing videos. These particular yarns aren't in there yet, but they might be at some point. If you want to check it out, a link to the Chemnitz Creations store is in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.